getting fed. Oh. Hey guys, so tomorrow is October 1st, which means I really need to get started on a good Halloween costume. But also, it is my 25th birthday, so I really wanted to challenge myself to have a Weight Watchers friendly birthday celebration as much as I can. I know everyone says treat yourself on your birthday, but I'm gonna take the challenge. So tonight we are gonna go have dinner at my mom's house. Not sure what she's gonna be making yet. And then tomorrow we are going out to eat with some friends at one of my favorite places. So that one's gonna be a little more difficult because it is Italian food, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll find something. And then Sunday, we are going to be celebrating with my dad's side of the family. So yeah, I am super excited. Hopefully, I can be done with this birthday and feel accomplished and not feel the guilt that, oh, I had a bad day eating, you know, you know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. I know you do. So we are going to go to my mom's. We'll see you there. Hi, buddy. Hi. What you got on your face? Grass. Grass. Playing outside. <laughs> <laughs> this is my beautiful mother. And she's gonna show us what we're gonna have today for healthy birthday dinner. So at the local butcher, um, I was able to get some chicken breast burger patties that look amazing. Um, and those will be zero points on blue. We're gonna season them with the Southwest Chipotle seasoning. We're gonna do a beautiful garden salad um, with tomatoes from that I grew in my little garden outside. We're gonna serve that with um, the Olive Garden Italian dressing. It is two tablespoons for one point. Um, and this stuff is really good and it goes a long way so I only like one tablespoon because otherwise it's a little too heavy for me. We are also going to have birthday french fries. Um, these are the, <laughs> and I already opened them to put them in the oven, but these are the Orita Golden Crinkles. You can have 12 french fries for three smart points. Birthday cake, we are going to have the um, sugar-free devil's food mug cakes. I haven't tried the chocolate one yet. I usually get the vanilla. So with our cake, um, our mug cakes, it's two, I'm sorry, it's 30 grams of the cake mix with two tablespoons of water. You mix that up and then we have a variety of the sugar-free Lily's baking chips. You can add 16 for one smart point. We have white chocolate chips. These are just regular chocolate, semi-sweet. We have butterscotch and the new milk chocolate salted caramel. These mm. are delicious. So um, they can throw what they want in their mug cake. And so that's a three point cake with the chips and the frost, or the cake mix. We've got two tablespoons for three smart points of the sugar-free vanilla frosting. Uh, but I think one tablespoon would go a long way on these little mug cakes. And then Connor brought over the salted, I'm sorry, the salted caramel and the sh chocolate sugar-free, whoops, sundae syrup. I have not been able to find these in any grocery store near my house. Um, so I'm anxious to try them. And these are one smart point, I think for two tablespoons, but I'll have to look. So that is what we are having for Connor's birthday dinner tonight. Weight Watchers friendly Weight birthday Watchers dinner. Weight Watchers friendly. So we've got the chicken, let's see, chicken burgers are zero. The salad will be, with croutons will be two. The fries will be three, that's five. And then the mug cake will be four. So a nine point birthday dinner. Dinner and dessert. Dinner and dessert. Well, and I was gonna make broccoli. Ooh, broccoli's good. With cheese sauce. So cheese sauce is one point. Um, so like a 10 point birthday dinner and dessert. Healthy meal number one. Okay, I just wanna show off how good this salad looks. It is so colorful. <laughs> so many dressing options. That one's my favorite. Hey guys, so we just got home from my mom's house. We had an awesome dinner. Um, I ended up having a chicken burger with some broccoli and cheese, a couple of those french fries, I believe it was 12 for three points. Chicken burger was zero, the bun was five. So altogether that's eight. And then one for the two tablespoons of cheese I had with my broccoli. And then the mug cakes ended up being three points. So all together, dinner and dessert was 12. 12 point dinner, so I still have about 11 points left. Um, I just bought a bunch of ham and rolls that I'm gonna throw in a crock pot with pineapple um, for work because it is tradition on your birthday that you bring something in for everybody. And then I also got them little like cake pops without the stick. So. 
We're gonna watch the Pandemic South Park special. <laughs> oh, he started it. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> okay guys, I'm at work now, but I just wanted to show you because it is tradition on your birthday or on your one year anniversary at work to bring in food. So I'm bringing ham and rolls, hot ham, so it's in my crock pot, spending here for about an hour with some water and pineapple juice, and this is two points for two ounces for the ham. And these mini french rolls, these are pretty decent size, so yeah, these are good size. These are four points for one, and that is hot ham and rolls. There's also cheese in the fridge and mustard, but I'm good with just ham and rolls, so six points. Hey, Patrick. What? I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> <laughs> it is my 25th birthday. Okay, so I didn't record anything when I woke up because I woke up a little late. Um, I woke up at about 3.30 and got up by 4, so I had to get ready and go because our dinner reservation was at 6. We went to a local Italian place, which was super good. I had a salad and then ended up bringing my own Olive Garden dressing, the light one, and I brought four tablespoons, so that was two points for that. In the salad, it was all zero point stuff except cheese. Um, there was a little bit of cheese, just like a sprinkle. So I'm just gonna count it for like two. Now we are gonna go take Anna on a walk and then probably play a game or two. And then I have to go to work tonight. We might do a little mug cake later for birthday cake, but other than that, I'm pretty full, so. So Garrett got us a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Everyone is so curious. What is that? We got these two games for the new Switch. And then we got <laughs> little wheels for Mario Kart. Hi everyone, I am at work right now. Um, my hair curled out from being outside for 20 minutes, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'm a little sad I didn't record more from dinner, but I wanted to be able to be there with everybody and not on my phone. Thank you so much to everybody who came out tonight. I had so much fun and I love you all so much. It meant the world to me to have you guys come out. We did not end up doing mug cakes. We are still so full from dinner. Guys, the place we went to was absolutely amazing. If you're ever in the Milwaukee area, Papa Luigi's, you know what's up. So the next time you see us in this vlog, it will be Sunday and we are gonna be doing birthday dinner at my dad's house. I believe they're thinking about doing pizza. Um, not everyone follows Weight Watchers, so if we do that, I will probably end up bringing my own salad and maybe having a piece, but we're making this birthday a non-guilty birthday, an accomplished birthday. And so far I'm feeling pretty accomplished, you guys. All I had tonight was a salad. I did have a piece of garlic bread. I counted it for about eight points. Still stayed in my point range. And then when we got home, um, like I said, we were going to do mug cakes, but we didn't end up doing it. Um, I just brought a bag of Smart Sweets to work with me. So I stayed under points today, <laughs> and that was awesome. I stayed under points yesterday for birthday supper. So, so far, so good. Let's see what Sunday brings us. We'll see you there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. We are in the church parking lot because it is Sunday. We have an eventful day today. We are going to be going to Dunkin' Donuts after church today and meeting with our friend Katia because she is just starting Weight Watchers and I'm so excited for her. Then we are going to be going to the original Pancake House with a bunch of friends. This is something we do um, once every two weeks. Um, we go out for breakfast. We have a specific time. Um, we all kind of vote where we wanna go and what time, and it's super cute. We're gonna meet up with them. Then we are going to be going to my dad's house for my last birthday supper celebration. Um, we are going to be having stuff from the Chocolate Factory, which is a ice cream and like sub place. So I'm gonna show you what I got there. I'm gonna go inside, but I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, this is my best friend. 
friend Alana. <laughs> you can't really tell. Hi. Right. There she is. <laughs> We just got back from my aunt's house. We went there instead of my dad's house like we originally were gonna do um, because the garage is bigger and because of coronavirus, we have some people on that side of the family that we need to protect. So sitting outside in the garage was easier, one, because we were outside, and two, because it's easier for us to be socially distant in the garage. Um, we ended up doing the chocolate factory. Garrett had a sub. I had a garden salad. Everything in that salad was zero points except the dressing. I did bring my own, um, and I did the Olive Garden light, so it was two points. Then we had birthday cake. Um, it was the chocolate eclair cake, so that was fat-free vanilla pudding, which was two points for the amount that was in my slice. The graham crackers were two points, so that's four. And then the chocolate frosting was six. So altogether, that slice of cake was 10. 10 points for that slice of cake, but it was so worth it. Okay, so my breakfast that you saw earlier was a three egg omelet with avocado, cheese and peppers and onions and that was 15 points altogether that was all I had for breakfast and lunch um, was the 15 point omelet I don't know if it was exactly 15 points I don't know how much avocado was actually in it but I just counted a whole one for 11 points to be safe and then my dinner was two points for the salad okay so my omelet was 15 points and then my dinner salad and cake was 10 points so I went over two points for the whole day which I'm not mad about um, I think that people usually say treat yourself on your birthday and I was able to do it three times <laughs> um, only going over two points one of those days so I'm pretty proud of that I'm not feeling guilty I'm feeling pretty accomplished like I hoped and I have my coat on because now we're gonna take Miss Anna on a walk and she is so ready to go. <laughs> She's sitting right here. Are you ready to go on a walk? Are you ready to go on a walk? Are you ready to go on a walk? We're gonna go on a walk. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.